What's up, ballers? This is Bobby Buckets back with another episode of NBA Live Mobile. In today's episode, I am actually going to show you guys a technique for making coins that's not going to work for a very long time, but especially right now with the game increasing in players as much as it is. Um, just to show you guys an example, we'll go look uh, just at the prices for players. So a couple of days ago, a player that was a 79 probably would have sold for a maximum of 3,900. Now they're selling for around at least 6,000, if not more. So you look, 5,500 is a really cheap price for these players. So what that shows you is the prices of all the players has gone up, which is because of supply and demand. So since demand has increased so much, from all the new players that are coming in, um, they need higher prices to uh, e even it out. So basically what that allows us to do is open packs and make coins because even if we only pull a 75, uh, we can still sell that for around 4,500 coins and um, with the other cards that we get with it, we'll still break even. So I'm going to try to take advantage of this um, while we're able to. So I'm going to try to open a bunch of packs. Hopefully we can get some good pulls. So right there, Kevin Love is a solid pull. So that will sell for at least 20000 I believe, especially since he's a good shooting power forward. Um, so pulls like that are what enable us to make coins with this method, um, especially if you're pulling elites. Uh, if you're getting good pulls, then you're definitely going to be making a lot of coins. But you also have to be aware of the market prices, so check it regularly so you know if prices start to go back down. But I saw yesterday that NBA Live Mobile is already number one on one of the app stores, which is just going to get it more attention and more players, which is just going to make prices go up and up. So I'm trying to take advantage of that. I've been selling all of my gold players on both of my accounts to try to make back as many coins as I can before the prices go back down. Right now, we're not having very good luck. Um, hopefully, we can get a couple of decent pulls so we can just go and see how much profit we're going to be able to make. Um, but also, if you're a newer player and you're buying packs, not that many newer players will have enough money to buy packs, uh, but you do get those nice little achievements um, at random times for collecting certain things and I believe after collecting a certain amount of golds or elites you do get uh, maybe a pro pack or dunk pack or something like that um, right now our pulls have been terrible uh, I don't think we pulled anything all right we did pull an 82 there uh, which is not phenomenal but it'll still make back a couple packs worth of coins but right now we're getting a whole lot of 75 to 77s. And those are really the only ones that don't make our coins back. We did get a double gold there, so that one wasn't too bad. There we go, an 83. That's a solid one. Uh, right now we're in the middle of this crazy free agency. So last night D-Wade went to the Bulls. Um, I've already talked about this, but Kevin Durant goes to the Warriors. So they're basically a super team. I would imagine the Bulls will probably be number two or three in the East behind probably the Cavs and the, uh, gosh, why can't I, the Celtics, um, just because the Celtics picked up Al Horford and they were already pretty solid. They might be behind the Raptors, uh, but I don't know. I feel like the Raptors haven't really done much to improve themselves this offseason, so we'll have to see how that goes. Um, right now... We're not getting anything good. We got That was a solid pack because we got a double gold and an impact player, but right now it just feels like we are not getting anything. Um, I'm going to try to go until I can get an elite. That's a solid pack because I got three silvers, and those will sell for about $1,500 apiece. So if you put those together, that pack in total will sell for about $9,000 uh, for the gold plus the silvers. Um, so I think we're like... Over 200k in, still no elites. We got 183, 182, 181, but that's not helping us a whole lot. Um, I've been trying to look through the teams and see which teams would be good for putting together for gold players, but especially since 
Clay and Kyrie both moved up to elite status, and you won't be able to pull them from those packs. Uh, that's not going to be a very profitable method. So, still searching for other methods. If all the hoops pack or the pro packs are like this, then this is not going to be a profitable method. Profitable method. Uh, but from my experience, you usually have a little bit better odds. So we get this dunk pack, so we get six golds in that. So that's not too bad. Hopefully I can get an elite sometime soon. Um, but these packs, they I'm guessing they probably decrease the odds for them, uh, especially with all the new players coming in. So <laughs> just not having very good luck right now. Um, but I will be able to make back all my coins just because of uh, things like those double golds, uh, pretty much anything where you get an 81 or above, you'll be able to make your coins back. Impact players will help out with that and stuff like that. So I'm still working on just improving my lineup steadily on both of these accounts. So this is kind of my coin account. The other one's more of my uh, better overall account. So it's kind of a give and take for these. Uh, but hopefully I'll have some more content coming to you guys in the next couple weeks. Uh, definitely more once August rolls around because I won't be nearly as busy. And these packs <laughs> are just not being nice to us right now. Uh, so I might have to cut in a little bit um, and recoup my losses. Maybe, let's see, we'll do 10 more packs. If we don't get an elite, then we'll call it quits. So, number one, nothing good except for those collectibles. Number two, let's see, let's see. Nothing good again. Uh, they do not like us today. Number three. And still another 75. So I guess they must have changed the odds because they were way better than this before. Number four. Another impact card. But still not doing real good. Number five. Another 75. It is, um, amazes me how many 75s there are in this game. Uh, that's a decent one. That's number six. Um, but still not an elite. That's what we're going for right now. Number seven, another solid one. That'll sell for 25k at least. Number eight, give us that elite. Not an elite. That was a pretty bad one because it had three golds with it. Number nine, come on. Second to last one. All right, we'll do the no look for the last one. Maybe that'll help us out. And three, two. One. All right. So nothing good. So when you look at those, um, probably not the best example of how you can make coins with it. Uh, but if you check out the prices, so we'll look at uh, type silver players. Yesterday they were fifteen hundred a piece. They could have gone up since then. Uh, yeah, 1500 You can probably sell for more, maybe $1,600. Um, so that definitely helps the price. Um, just helping you recoup the coins that you spent on packs. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like you can probably sell them for 1600 So that helps. Uh, then we'll look at bronze players. Those will probably sell for, I'm guessing, 400 500 uh, Let's see. Nope, those are going to go for 190 So those aren't going to help you a whole lot, but the silvers will. And also the impact collectibles. So we'll go elite collectibles. Maybe just search that. So those looks like they're going about 4000 at least, maybe more. Plus if you pull something like a legend or a legend collectible while you're opening packs, you will definitely more than make back your coins. But that's going to be about it for this episode. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.